Let's get right to it. Certifications are used by companies in the real world to make hiring decisions. Certificates of completion are not certifications. If you don't know the difference, I'll put a link below to a video that will help you understand those differences. Seriously, pause this and watch this if you think a certificate of completion is the same thing as an industry certification. Let's talk about the certifications for the four core data roles. The four core data roles are the data analyst, the DBA, the data engineer, and the SQL developer. Now, this does include all the networking and other certifications out there. This video is only focused on the data certifications and the machine learning certifications. The first role is the data analyst. There are two certifications I recommend here. The first is the Microsoft Data Analyst Certification, which I teach on my platform LogicBot. The second is the Tableau Certification, which I do not teach. Each of these will get you phone screens. The only reason I recommend the Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Certification is that it's more widely recognized than the Tableau Cert, and it costs a lot less to learn. Next up is the DBA role. For decades, there were clear DBA certifications. This is specific to Microsoft. Those are gone now. Here's what I found on the Microsoft training website about their DBA certifications. I'll include this link in the comment section down below. It's obviously they want you to move to the cloud, so that's what I'd do if you want to go that route. Oracle also has a series of DBA certifications, and theirs are also well accepted in the real world. I don't know a lot about the word of Oracle, so if you want to be an Oracle DBA, then you'll need to do your own research. However, all their certs are very well accepted in the real world. Next up is the new data role, the data engineer. There are only three companies that offer two data engineering certifications, the big three. The big three are Microsoft, AWS, and Google. I'd start off with the Google one. It's only one exam, and it's by far the easiest. Now, you might be thinking, are there data engineering certs that aren't cloud-based? Nope. None that I would recommend. If you're starting out as a data engineer, start out learning it from a cloud perspective. Now, outside of the big three, I would recommend the Snowflake Data Engineering Certification. They're gaining a ton of traction in the data warehouse space, and certified Snowflake consultants are pulling down some large scratch right now. The last data role is the SQL Developer. Microsoft used to have a certification for this one also. However, it's also gone. I'm guessing Oracle has a SQL Developer certification, but I don't know about it, so I won't make any recommendations on it. If you really want to be a SQL Developer, then you're going to need to do some digging. We've covered the core data roles. Let's also add the machine learning engineer. Again, I'd stick with the big three here. And the only two I put on my resume are the Google Certified Machine Learning Engineer and the Google Certified TensorFlow Developer. Now, this might sound strange, coming from someone who helped create the Microsoft Certified Data Science Certification Track. So I quit that to start LogicBot because Microsoft wasn't focused on the real world. Honestly, they still aren't. They're still pushing the data scientist narrative. Until they get on board with the real world, I simply can't recommend them. Actually, the Amazon Machine Learning Engineering Certification is my number three cert. By the way, I had also put this one on my resume. After I made it past the two Google Machine Learning Certifications I discussed, I'd focus on the Amazon Machine Learning Cert. Now, if you want to work on AWS, and that's the only platform you ever want to work on, then yes, you could get the Amazon Machine Learning Engineering Certifications and do quite well. Then you could ignore the Google Certifications. In this video, we've covered all the certifications for the core data roles and for the machine learning engineering certification. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.